72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. Let's look at that cloud nine in this line. It's never on vacation. Start up that Maserati. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Horcrux. Uh, this is part two to my patch analysis for the uh, Stone Thorn DLC. You know, you're getting all this on PTS. It's all real, you know, irrelevant. It might change. Who knows? But this is what we have so far. Uh, piece, if you want uh, to check out my other video where I cover everything else besides the sets, uh, it'll either be like right here or right here. I don't know. I'm down here in the corner. So probably up there somewhere. So anyway, uh, let's go and get into it. We're we'll gonna do as quick as possible. There's a lot of sets. Um, anything sticks out, like I said, I'll um, elaborate on it. They see bulwark. This set reduces the attackers' uh, damage rate ten percent. That's for less calculations. Armor master got a buff. Uh, it's one of the best tanky sets in the game, especially for light armor. Assassin's Guile, uh, two piece gives you spell weapon rather than spell critical. Cool, cool. The four piece. Get okay. So this just pretty much gives you everything all the time. That's good. Cold Arbor's favorite. This set now heals or damages for uh, X amount over 6 seconds rather than X amount over 4 seconds. Fixed an issue where the damage could not be purged and did not appear. Okay, I didn't know it did that. Wish I knew. Well, it's too late. Now I know. Digit Trickery. Uh, is not a big fan of this set, but uh, this set activates upon dealing damage rather than when you're in combat with a timer. Increase the duration of major buffs. 16 seconds up from 10, 10 seconds. Very good. Cooldown of any major buff applying from this is still set to 20 seconds. Okay, so a lot higher up time. Uh, leaving combat removes the buff. This wind uh, re reduced cooldown 15, 30 seconds. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't know what this set is. Reduce the magic against stamina restored. Okay, remove the proc chance instead uh, on any monster death, but only one stake can be active at a time. Alright, fix an issue with this ticket rock twice. I have, like I said, I'm not sure what this set is, guys. Sorry. Need Axiom 2 piece, uh, gives you weapons, spoil damage, and just magic. The 3 piece of this also grants magic. Cool. Magnus Gift. Whoa. Alright, so I was a big fan of Magnus back in the day, back in vanilla. I used to run uh, Magnus Seducer Engine Guardian. Uh, so, this is pretty good. Um, you don't even have to double bar this. Uh, most of your expensive spells are typically on your back bar anyway. So, if you had this double bar, you would run the risk of a cheap spell getting negated instead of an expensive spell. So, I would actually run this on my back bar only. Just to make sure all your expensive shit, when it does proc, it's not going to count for nothing. So, that's good. Say, like, Flame Lash takes like 2k, a Coagulate takes 4k. So, you have to negate two flame lashes in order to nullify, you know, equal the same as coag. So, I'd actually just run this on your expensive spell bar, it's typically your back bar. It's cool. Mechanical acuity, I removed the proc chance from the set. Now, it said uh, guaranteed critical strike any ability they can naturally critical strike rather than only attacks. Okay. Who are the sets two piece to account for bar swapping? I'm glad they're doing this. The bar swapping thing was pretty annoying. You'd lose stats for nothing, so that's cool. My the Lost Legion, this set grants an additional 1206 magic of health on its 5 piece. Very good. That was Conquest, increase the healing done. Uh, it's really not that big a deal. Nocturnal's favorite, this set now heals uh, X amount over 5 seconds with a 5 second cooldown rather than healing for 4k instantly with 2 second cooldown. I like the, the healing over time better, to be honest. Oblivion's Foe, uh, this set now increases the damage your soul magic attacks by. Rather than adding 1,000, increase the recovery bonus of. Two. Oh, okay, that's irrelevant. Well, actually, no, it's not irrelevant. That's a lot of recovery. But this, guys, this sit increases the damage of your soul magic attacks. Okay, if I use soul trap, is that an extra 2,500 per tick? If so, that's broken as fuck. Um. Wow. <laughs> I hate to say it guys, but if that is the case, you best bet I'll be running Oblivion's Foe on some build. Um, might be a Sork because the Sork lacks sustained pressure, so we'll see, we'll see. That sounds really good, really tasty, right, redistributor. This sit now procs on overhealing cause rather than uh, healing yourself to full health. Okay, that's cool. Make sure you can proc a wire at full health. Increase the healing, okay, whatever. Increase the cooldown to one second from three seconds. 
Alright, Shackle Breaker increased the stamina magic set. That's irrelevant. Guru are the two four piece spawns count for bar swapping. If you're running Shackle Breaker, you're not bar swapping. Maybe. Four piece. Ah, I don't know. I guess you could buy one. Shadow Wars Curse. Let's say now activates off uh, lie attacks and heavy attacks rather than only lie attacks. Increase the healing from. Okay, so if you're medium attack weaving, you can proc this now. Which, it's bad as the lag is, medium attack weaving. It's pretty good. S Song of LeMay, reduce the damage from the set. That's irrelevant. Reduce the cooldown to 3 seconds, down from 30. The healing from the set now heals for the amount of damage done rather than a flat amount. Uh, we'll... We'll have to play around with that. Tava's favorite, this set now grants 12 ultima over 3 seconds, up from 9. Update the tooltip to mention the 3 second cooldown. Uh, I'm telling you, maybe Tava's favor with the uh, new set that gives you 44 ult for the DK. You pretty much have constant leaps with your minor heroism pots. Just a thought. May have to go with the, with the decisive trait, they buff the decisive trait you to 55% instead of 40 this this might be a little a little overtuned. I I don't know if Zoss really tested this out, but imagine Tava's favor with the other set. Okay, because this I mean this you can probably put this on your front. Anyway, yeah, it, yeah. Th this might be broken with DKs if you go over like ult regen build. We're definitely gonna play around with that in the PTS. Torx packed. This set two pieces now armor rather than spell damage. Aw. Increase the cooldown reduction of this enchantment. Okay, whatever. Who cares? It's increase the potency of enchantments from not to ninety percent. What? That's a, what? Oh my god, guys. Okay. I mean, Torx pack was already good. But shit. I will be playing around with this set too. I get a little. Uh, write this down on my notepad actually. So we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll be testing most of the shit out on the. PTS. Alright, anyway. Uh, Trap of Fire uh, now grants 8,500 armor. Wow, dude. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, Twilight's Embrace. Uh, this has two pieces now. Magic rather than health. Eh, whatever. Vampire's Kiss. This set now heals for 80 over his duration up from... Okay. Here's an issue where the heal could critically strike. Uh, uh, Baron's Legacy. Reduce damage bonus from the set that's relevant. Reduce the window in which you must activate it to 5 seconds from 8. Remove the proc chance. Add a 2 second cooldown now whenever a block block and attack your next direct damage AOE deals an additional uh we'll, we'll have to kind of play around with that I'm, I'm not sure why streak distribution also an OG set increases the size of the damage shields okay so it got about what a 30% increase in damage shield that that's pretty good I mean that's pretty I don't know if this has happened in Cyrodiil. I mean, that, that's pretty much half of a hardened ward for Sork. Um, I forget how often that can be up, but we'll have to look at all these sets. Actually, we'll pass increased recovery bonus. That's a shit ton. That's a shit ton. All right, got got all that all away. Now we got Overland sets. Accurate reads on guard. This set now grants an additional uh, 50 health recovery or five piece. Cool. Uh, armor trainee whatever. Armor of the Veiled Heritage. Increase the weapon damage bonus is set to 516 up from 400. This set now permanently increases bash attacks. Okay, cool. Bars Curse. Increase the damage done by the set 960 up from 860. Increase the proc chance uh, 250%. Reduce the snare potency uh, to 60%. It's, that's irrelevant. Beekeeper. This 3 and 4 piece bonuses are now health rather than health recovery. Increase the health recovery. It's needed. This is a dog shit set still it feels like ordinum scales it's kind of the same thing really uh bloodthorns touch okay it's one of my favorite sets i uh, increase the magic and stamina generation 
Wow. Okay. Okay. Reduce the healing of the set. Oh wait, this is different set. Okay. This is a pretty good increase. It's about 33% increase. Ish. Give or take. Like 30% actually. May try blood the Fuck dude. These sets are looking pretty juicy. There's so much options. Alright. Briarheart. Reduce the healing of the set to 350 down from that. That's irrelevant. This set no longer has a proc chance. Whenever you critically do damage, your weapon damage will be increased by 450 for 10 seconds while this effect is active. Any critical strikes by you also heal you for 350 with a 15 second cooldown like normal. Okay. Brythos Boast. Increase the magic recovery is set. Whatever. Uh, call the Undertaker. This set no longer has a cooldown. This set now triggers on any damage done rather than only light attacks. Good change. Uh... Yeah, 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 it's a pretty good change. Champion of the Hist, uh, this set now grants up to additional 1206 health while wearing 5 pieces. Eh, who? I don't know a lot of people running it. Some people do. It's, it's okay. Crafty Elfique, reduce the magic granted. What's even the point? By 10? Whatever. <laughs> Deadwater's Gaw. This set now scales with the item level and quality. Increase the ultimate generated 15 per kill up to 5. This set now grants an additional 5 Bs. Hey, you know this is a set in the game. Defiler. Oof. Increase the damage done from the set. Uh, remove the proc chance from the set. The hunger from the stationary cannot be targeted and disappears after it ends. Fix. Okay, yeah, I, I hated accidentally hitting that thing. Cool. Uh, Drowl's Heritage. Uh, increase the healing from the set from 85 to 7k. Okay. Uh, reduce the cooldown. Wow. Fix an issue where the heal could quickly strike. Okay. That's pretty good. That's uh, almost a 300% increase there. Like 290 something. Uh, Dreamer's Mantle. This set now restores uh, 1058 magic on proc rather than healing on proc. Reduce the cooldown. Uh, I'll have to read up on this set. See exactly what that is. That might be pretty major. I don't know. Uh, Grace of Gloom. The heal from this set now activates uh, every one second rather than requiring your light or heavy attack to activate it. Reduce the healing uh, to protect down from. Okay, well, it just kind of balances it. Green Pact. Uh, increase the health recovery bonus to set. Okay. Uh, Griffin's Ferocity. This set now lasts 10 seconds up from 3. I know a lot of people are running this. Uh, height of a more more house more haze. I don't know more house increase the damage done from the sets Okay, almost double this set now grants an additional stand recovery of five piece. Okay, it's flat buffs Hot the werewolf increase the ultimate grant from six to five live wire Reduce the cooldown the set six from eight remove the proc chance fix an issue or could quickly heal. Okay Seems like they're blanketing everything across the board mad tinker increase the damage of sets uh, It's kind of irrelevant remove the proc chance Whenever you deal damage with a a, ver a verminous f fabricant will be summoned that will charge the nearest thing when you're doing damage. Reduce cooldown. Eh. Uh, Mark of the Pariah. Reduce the maximum armor this set. Yeah, I wouldn't nerf it. Just leave it alone. Meridia's Blessed Armor. This set now causes you to dodge all incoming attacks for 5 seconds after blocking an attack rather than having a 33% chance. On attack to make the attack miss on for five seconds. Increase the cooldown. Yeah, you have to increase that for sure. This is okay. So you can essentially use this six times in a minute. I mean, it's it's pretty decent. I like it. Mother sorrow increase spell critical. This uh, is okay. Necropotence reduce the magic of granted while pet is active. It's it's irrelevant. Night mother's embrace increase. The weapon damage is a 5 piece uh, from, play, okay, nothing game changing. Change to 4 piece health, okay, reduce max health. What's wrong, Booms? You okay? Come here. Come here. You wanna be on camera? Come here, baby. What's wrong with my Moomies? My Moomies, no, pay attention. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to everyone? Yeah. Use your go poppers. Use your go poppers. Alright, go there. Sorry, <laughs> she's over trying to get my fucking attention. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll go on. Uh, we got prisoners' rags. Decrease the magic restored. Fix an issue. It's gonna be active amount of. 
Robes of the Withered Hand, uh, increase the magic and health of sword. Essential Defender, this set now our soars. 757 magic and stamina for stack up from 666. I wonder why they changed that. <laughs> Essential Bite, increase the critical hit damage bonus of the set. 15, in case a little bit. 7th Legion. Decrease the weapon damage health recovery granted this set by a little bit. Increase the duration. Cool down. Yeah. Shadows of the Mountain. Uh, decrease the damage dealt uh, down to 5,978 k and remove the proc chance. Now, we do damage with a weapon. Uh, you spawn a volcano that erupts after one second that deals damage close to the enemy every two seconds. I mean, it's it's pretty fast. That's, that might be a lot of damage. Who knows? See how it plays out. The Malakans builds. So if they're coming, fellas. The Malakans builds are coming. It's it's gonna be rough. Uh, I wonder if they change Calorians. Oof. Uh, well, hopefully we get to that soon. Do we pass it? Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Uh, exoskeleton. Uh, this set grants an additional one or twenty-nine split and five piece. Good silks of the sun. Okay. This set's two piece. Uh, critical rather than okay. You just spell critical instead of health. I like the health on it though. Is a thing. That sucks. Soul shine. Uh, this set now grants uh, 369 split damage for 5 seconds out after being channeling a cast time ability rather than adding 4 MPD split damage here. Okay, that's cool. Spinners increase the penetration bonus by 10. This is game breaking. It's absolutely game breaking. <laughs> this set removes all negative effects rather than up to 5. What? Okay. Remove the proc chance from the set. Now whenever you heal a friendly target, you remove all negative effects from the... Oh, uh, well, 30 seconds. Reduce the damage of this. Okay. I remove, remove the proc chance. Now whenever you take non-physical damage, you deal X amount of shock damage to all enemies. Every 2 seconds, 6 seconds. Okay, damage is labeled as damage over time rather than direct damage. Ah, uh, okay. So it's not... Ah, uh, okay. You gotta allocate your CP elsewhere for that one. Uh, this set now grants 360 and that's 15 seconds. After leaving stealth and invisibility, rather than increasing your damage done with magic abilities. Okay. Uh, this set is now spell damage rather than stamina. Yeah, uh, I mean, they're, they're just kind of baselining all the sets, I guess, instead of it calculating percentages and diminishing returns and other effects and all that mumbo jumbo. So that's. I'm okay with those changes. Work smarter, not harder, you know? Uh, this set now increases weapon damage of your poison disease attacks with 600 or from 450. Swap the three and four pieces properly match six. So that's not okay. That's fine. Sword Singer. This set now increases the weapon damage of your two anti attacks by 600 instead of 450. Servant's Bane. Uh, reduce the magic of cost. Okay. Increase the damage from set. Okay. Increase the damage done from this set to 1000 plus 10,000. Or duration up from that increase the cool down yeah it should probably be a little higher remove the proc chance now when you do damage a burst of lamina poisons that deals 1000 poison damage of five myriads and additional 10,000 over okay that's cool thunderbugs carapace reduce the damage done by a set <coughs> by a little bit remove the proc chance uh, when you take physical damage you deal uh, 4900 shock damage in a round you this effect can occur every three seconds okay Trinum X Valor, increase the damage done by a little bit. Uh, the tool tip now properly mentions the delay before the damage does occur. Okay, Twin Sisters. Whew, we gonna get through this. Reduce the damage of the set to 13,380 over its duration, down from X amount. Remove the proc chance from the set. Now when you block and attack all enemies within five meters of you will bleed. That's, that's pretty good. Unfath unfathomable darkness. Increase the damage per hit to 6,000 instead of 4,000. Remove the proc chance. Uh, now when you do damage, a murder crows will be summoned around you. Every 3 seconds, a crow will be sent to peck out the cocksucker's eyes within 12 meters of dealing. Okay. It's kind of... This is buff the damage. Alright, Ward Maiden. This set now grants 600 spell damage. Max ability up to 400. Straight buff. It's good. Really gun sorcerer. Way of the air, increase the damage and Templar actually too. Uh, increase the weapon and spell damage bonus to 391, set 344. Now set grants it some stamina recovery. Okay, no one really uses that much. Uh, reduce the damage of the set, 
Remove the proc chance. Now when you deal damage with a weapon, you will deal an additional 4,000 flame damage. Carry every two... Okay, way of the fire and uh, the volcanic rune set or whatever. Might be kind of cool together. Uh, Red Mountain. Who knows? Uh, Wilder Queen's Arch. I don't even know what this set is. Uh, this set now scales in item set quality and level. Uh, this set now increases your movement speed at 15% reduces enemy movements by 15% rather than reducing enemies by 30%. Same overall, I guess. Uh, Wizard of Avedis. Uh, shit, sorry. Uh, this set now grants an additional 129 spell damage on its 5 piece. Okay. Witch and Armor. This set now restores uh, 51 health, magic, and stamina per point of your ultimate cost rather than 28. Okay. Pretty much doubles Weird Tree. Uh, this set now removes all negative effects. Rather, okay, that's really good. I like weird trees. All right, so we got through those overlands. Now these are the dungeons. So let me kind of stretch for a second. It's so hard doing this. I'm not much of a reader, guys. I avoid reading w whenever possible. If I can just listen to it, that's fine. But oof, it's rough out here. All right, dungeon. Archer's Mind, this set now grants 6% critical damage and healing passively, an additional 12% while in sneak or invisible rather than 5% critical damage additional. Okay, that's good. Uh, Matheton, this now restores this much on proc rather than this much. That's pretty good. Bark Skin reduces health on proc. 17, 2300 reduces stamina on proc. Fix an issue or it could critically heal. Fix an issue where this. Set could fail to proc if the same snare is refreshed with a certain period of time. Bump Pirate Tatters increase the stamina recovery, whatever. Reduce the shield size, that's kind of irrelevant. Remove the proc chance. Now, when you take damage, you and your eyes and 8 meters gain damage shield that absorbs 11,000 damage for 6 seconds. This is greater 15 seconds. Okay. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Burning Spell Weave. One of my favorite sets. Reduced spell damage granted from this set. 49 from 25. I'm sad. This set no longer has a proc chance. Now, when you do damage with a flame ability, you apply the burning stats effect to the enemy and increase spell damage. This effect can only occur. Oops, whatever. Well, at least you can have a lot more uptime to it, and you don't have to have this on both bars. You can just have it. You can shit. You can slot this on your back bar, since now there's no proc chance. Well, I don't know. When you do damage. With Okay, yeah, it's just when you deal damage, not when you use an ability. Okay. So, yeah, you can be on your back bar and it'll proc this. Chlorian's Legacy. Oh. Slightly increase the travel speed. Okay. Reduce the minimum travel time. Uh oh. Reduce. Increase the damage? Oh my god. This is it, boys. This is it. Oh my god. This is bad. I really hope this gets changed. This is bad. With the Malakanth ring, and now you don't have to do anything to proc it. Oh no. Oh, boys. Oof. You know, mark that down. Calorian's legacy. Yeah, get us out of this farm just in case they leave it alone. Just saying. I already do. Good luck getting the Inferno staff. Took me like 49 runs. Uh, combat physician reduces shield size. Uh, this cooldown now per target rather than overall. It's good. Dragon's defilement. Uh, this set has an additional 1206 health, uh, health on its five piece. Okay. Uh, Drow Hulk reduces stamina this set. It's irrelevant. Elemental Succession. So, uh, fix an issue where a cooldown of each event was slightly longer than 4 seconds. Whatever. Essence Thief. Uh, whatever. Flame Blossom. Increase the damages. Okay. It's about 30% increase. Uh, this set now always applies the Burning Sass effect enemies to hits. Okay. This set no longer has a proc chance. Now. When you do damage, you summon a line of flame that moves forward. After one second dealing the flame damage in its path, the effect can occur here. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, Frozen Watcher. 
thought I heard something. Shit. Tweaking out. <laughs> Frozen Watcher. Increase the damage per tick. This set. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, fix an issue or damage could return as direct damage in some cases. Ah, I'm not sure what this set is, guys, to be honest. Glorious Defender. This set now causes you to dodge the next attack after bashing an enemy with a 13 second cooldown rather than having a 9%. Okay. Price of here. Yeah, it's whatever. Not a very popular set anyway. Gossamer. Reduce the duration of this set down one second to two seconds. I'm not sure what that set does. It might be game breaking. Who knows? I don't know what it is. Uh, Hag Raven's Garden. This set now grants you and nearby group members in the area major protection rather than granting only to only you. Okay, increase the duration, reduce the cooldown. This set no longer attempts to stun enemies in the area. That's pretty good. Pretty good set. Support players. Hand them follow. Uh, this set now applies minor fractured enemies in the area of the web rather than the duration of the web when it explodes. Increases the damage by a little bit. Remove the proc chance. Now when you take damage, a web appears around you for 5 seconds. Reducing movement of all enemies hit by 50%. Applying major fracture in 5 seconds. Okay, it's pretty good. I like their approach. Removing all the random RNG bullshit. Like it. Look at Prox, has a cooldown, if you're playing against it, you know how to play against it because you know it's going to have a cooldown and not just some random effect, so that's really good. I, I like their approach, what they're doing here. I really do. Good job, Zoss. Haven of Uterus. Oh wait, no, uh, Heinous Core. That's not Uterus. <laughs> it's <Earth. laughs> Alright, uh, Hanu's uh, Compassion. Increase the maximum magic you grant on the 5 piece bonus good uh, Haven of Ursus this set now grants the shield up to five targets up from one increase the shield size it's pretty much the same Harrison's of Veneer this set now grants you and nearby allies 145 standard recovery rather than reducing your allies with four percent okay I fixed an issue where the set could bypass the six person healer following blah 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 okay Hollow Fane's Thirst, reduce the magic you granted, set for 25-3, down 3k, I really don't know what that set is either. Hunt Leader, fix an issue with the heal, let's take a critically strike, okay, Icy Conjurer, uh, this set now deals 21,000 over 10 seconds rather than that over 8 seconds, reduce the cooldown to 10 seconds for 12, sorry guys, shit, yeah. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, fix an issue where this sets damage over time, could stack from multiple set wares. I see Conjurers went through a lot of changes since it first came out. It's still a really good uh, dueling set. Um, Iron Blood increase the proc chance to this to 10% from 8%. Fix an issue where the snare from this could stack with other snares in some cases. All right, Jailbreaker. This set now grants an additional 142 stamina recovery on the five piece jolting arms. This set no longer has a proc chance. Now when you block an attack, the next bash attack will deal an additional 3,500 damage. It will increase your physical and spell resistance by 4,600 up to 6 seconds. This effect can occur every 6 seconds. So, okay, cool. Reduce the damage from bash to 3,500 from 6k. Yeah, definitely got to adjust for that somewhere. Increase the, all right, uh, Knight's Errant. Increase the weapon damage bonus from the set 450 of 200. Cool. Increase the heal. Good. Fix an issue where it could critically, okay, I guess all it says could critically heal. Besides the ones I was using. Hades doesn't critical heal, unfortunately. <laughs> really wish it did. I was hoping it did. Nightmare. Uh, this set no longer has a proc chance. Now when you deal melee damage, you apply minor remain to all enemies within 8 meters for 2 seconds. Reduce the duration 2 seconds from 5. Okay, so pretty much 100% uptime. Uh, how long have we been into this, boys? Okay, we've been into this for a while. Uh, leeching plate, I uh, reduce the damage uh, done from the set. The inner protect down to 1200. Uh, this set no longer has a proc chance. Now, when you take damage, a cloud leeching poison is summoned under the assailant. The cloud deals 1100, almost 1200 poison damage every one second for five seconds and heals you for 100% of damage call on. So a cloud can be created once every five seconds. Okay, so it could potentially have 100% uptime. Leviathan increase the weapon critical. This set grants to 1937, up to whatever. <laughs> Uh, light speaker. I think little things like this. So, if it's anything like the champion points, if you don't get just enough over the 
th threshold, let's say you have thaumaturge and you get up to exactly 15%, unless you have anything over 15%, you don't get that extra percent because they'll round it down to 14%. I think this is why they're making these changes so small like this, just so it'll round up and calculate correctly. So instead of going in and rearranging their entire algorithm, they're just adjusting these just so it will calculate it correctly. So I think that's why. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's why. Even though these things just seem small, it's probably a percent worth of. It probably just helps calculate. So anyway, uh, light speaker. This set now grants 600 spell damage to your restoration staff ability up to 450. I see, yeah, their baseline pretty much all sets that do this. Uh, magical furnace. The set now restores 7,500 magic when you take damage while under 50% rather than restoring 8,000 magic. Oh, excuse me again. When you take melee damage under 80%. Um, and yeah, I guess so. Medusa is 2 and 4 piece set bonus for spell critical rather than spell damage. Okay, uh, this set now has an additional 5 piece. Okay, more crit for Medusa. Medusa is a really good set. Um, I'm kind of detecting the, the crit meta coming in. So, for example, let's say you run uh, the new set, the Crushing Shock one, that it applies 6% per elemental thing, so it's 18% crit damage. On top of the Shadow Mundus, which is I think is now 11%, on top of Medusa, which gives you more crit and more crit damage, like... I can see a lot, a lot of one shot. This is probably going to be a one shot meta, boys. I, I noticed they're removing a lot of health bonuses, replacing the critical or spell damage. This is going to be a one shot meta, boys. It's going to be a rough one. This will be fucking rough. Mighty Glacier or Glacier. At this set, now grants major resolve to the nearest 11 allies rather than granting it to them based on the order they were invited to the group. <laughs> Moon Hunter, this set now grants 547 spell damage for 8 seconds rather than 600 for 6 seconds, whatever, Noble Duelist. This set now increases your light and heavy attack damage by almost 2k for 5 seconds after dealing damage to lighter heavy attack and melee range, rather than increasing the damage down by 12, 12, 5 after 8 seconds, sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, I need to get him walk around. Set 5 second cooldown. Oblivion's Edge, increase the healing on kill. Increase the healing on kill to 20,000, up from 1,700. Increase the weapon damage to the 5 piece. Fix an issue where the heal could critically strike. The heal from this now is every once every 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh no, overwhelming surge. Increase the damage per tick. That's good. Remove the proc chance. Increase the cooldown. Whatever. I'll take it. That's good. I don't, I don't have to bar swap really anymore and you just have this yeah there's gonna be a lot of bar swapping for sure uh parabellum at uh, this set grants a damage shield that absorbs 7,000 damage over 10 seconds rather than granting a damage shield that absorbs 12,000 damage even though i take any damage the last 10 seconds let me read that again the set okay whatever or this will keep stacking who knows uh permafrost is set now grants health recovery away. Okay, I might actually consider running this. Very, very much so on my Sorcerer. Uh, that, that's a lot of fucking health recovery. <sighs> it really is. It really is. Uh, Pillar of Nern. Uh, this set now deals 4,700 damage initially. And 23,000 over 10 seconds. Up from 2,000 and 10,000. Respectively, 10 seconds. Remove the proc chance to set. Now when you do damage, you create a fissure under the enemy. After one second deals 4,700 physical damage all enemies within 2.5 meters. And causing them to bleed from an additional 23,590 physical damage over 10 seconds. This effect can occur every 10 seconds. Whew. Okay. But you have to try this in PTS. I'm not sure this is going to be a lot of damage or not. Uh, fix an issue with this damage over time. Could not stack multiple players. Okay. A uh, plague slinger. Reduce the damage per hit of this set. 5,000 uh, is irrelevant. Reduce the cooldown to 8 seconds, down from 15 seconds. Now you can better roleplay as a rat whisperer. <laughs> Zoss is kind of funny sometimes. Prayer shawl. Uh, this set procs over healing cause rather than. Prax on overhealing cause rather than healing cause. Increase the damage size. Okay. Uh, remove the proc chance from the set. Be added to second cooldown. That's pretty good. Rattle cage. This set five piece. Now grants one hundred seventy one spell damage up for one hundred. Good change. 
Reynolds Resolve. A set now stacks up to nine times from eight. Reduce duration of the bonus five down to ten. Reduce cooldown per stack five hundred milliseconds down from one. Okay. Uh, we kept the stacking at nine instead of the user dim because we like the tooltip. Are you serious? A little bit of a troll, but okay. Robes of Destruction. This set now grants uh, almost 3k max magic when you have destruction staff equipped up to 2400. Okay, this is pretty good. Sanctuary. Uh, this set now grants 10% uh, healing taken to you and nearby allies down from 12%. Savage Werewolf. Increase the damage done per tick. Uh, scavenging Demise. Increase the damage of the set to 11,000 up from 7,000. Oh, sheer venom. I don't even want to read this. Please nerf this, guys. Please nerf this. This set can now proc on multiple targets from a single hit of an execute attack, but cannot refresh itself on targets. This set now deals or and deal. Okay, this set now deals 87 damage over six seconds and deals up to 100% more damage to targets blow. And deals up to 100% more damage to targets below 100% rather than dealing. Okay. Uh, I hate this fucking set. I hate seeing two or three of these on my death recap. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Spell Power Cure. This set now grants a major courage when you heal the target rather than having 50% chance to grant it them 100% health. I don't know what major courage it does. Uh, this set no longer has a six person target cap to better mirror the power of, uh, or, or some lore bullshit. I don't know. You weeboo motherfuckers. <laughs> Splunker. Uh, this set reduces the cost of your undaunted abilities by 10% rather than granting them spell damage. Now you restore 730 magic and stamina when an ally activates your undaunted synergies. Cool. Spire Cold Discal. This set now grants 600 spell damage. Okay, they're just rounding everything up, really. Uh, Storm Master. This is now increases the damage of your light and heavy attacks by 1542 rather than causing your light attacks to deal an additional 13 shock damage. This set no longer works with Overload. Ah, oh, I'm sure no one really cares. Sunder Flame. This set now deals 13,600 damage over 10 seconds and applies minor fraction or breach of duration rather than dealing 4,000. Yeah, whatever. Sword Dancer. This set now grants 600 weapon damage to your dual attacks. Yeah, yeah the, wor uh, the Worm's Raiment. This set now grants 145 magic recovery to you and nearby allies rather than reducing the cost of you and nearby allies magic abilities by four percent pretty good change tooth row and treasure hunter increase the weapon spoil damage the set grants 171 up from 100 i never use that uh zagovgans uh warband i don't know what the set is increase the weapon critical set to 134 per stack up to 129 reduce the duration of the stacks added a 500 millisecond cooldown generating stacks okay it's half a second a Daunted Bastion increase the damage shield size of the set to 14,000 up to 13,000. It's pretty much the same. Uh, this is now active when you're. This set now activates when you're below 75% health and taunt rather than 60% health. Okay. A Daunted Infiltrator. These sets no longer have an identity crisis and grant the appropriate stats for their armor weights, although they still require you to cast an ability that is not in the primary source of the weight. Okay. These sets now increase your light and heavy attack damage by 1685 for the duration rather than increasing your light and heavy attacks by 774 and heavy attacks by 1161. Widowmaker. Uh, this set now deals almost 20,000 damage for 5 seconds when it procs rather than uh, 7,700 instantly. I like the damage over time stuff, I guess. Winterborn. A lot of changes. Increase the damage of this set to 7,400. Okay. Remove the proc chance. Now, when you deal frost damage, you summon ice pillar that d deals 7400 frost damage. All enemies in three meter radius. The ice pillar persists for two seconds and reduces the movement speed of everyone by 50%. This effect can occur every six seconds. Increase the cooldown from six seconds up from the hidden four second cooldown, which is now properly mentioned in the tooltip. Reduce the snare potency, whatever. Fix an issue where the snare was removed immediately after leaving the area rather than lingering on you for a short duration. This is pretty good. Wardens, especially. Oh yeah, I forgot about the trial sets. Uh, Alright, we'll go over these as well. We're almost done, guys. 
Uh, the following sets now affect you and other five rumors rather than you and other three. So this affects everyone now. Automated defense, master architect, okay, blah, blah, blah. Reduce the maximum number of stacks. This is arms that relic one. Reduce the maximum number of stacks. This set and the perfected versions to 15, down from 20. Fix an issue with the damage. Could return as direct damage in some cases. Okay. Berserking Warrior. This set now grants 305 weapon spell critical stack, down from five, uh, 400, excuse me. Increase the maximum number of stacks to 10 from 5. Cool. I reduce the duration of each stack for 5 seconds. It's a pretty good buff. I don't really run these trial sets, so forgive me. Uh, Defending Warrior. Increase the damage done by a set to 40, 174 k Reduce the cooldown by about half. Good. Internal Warrior. Fix an issue where the heal from this set could critically heal. False Gods of Devotion. I know a lot of people run this, so I'll mention it. Remove the extra 5-piece bonus of spell damage on the normal version of this set. And the extra 5-piece bonus of Magicka on the perfected version to better mirror the power of Vicious Ophidian as the perfected version's Quick Serpent. Whatever. This set now probably mentions that one second cooldown. Alright, Healing Mage. This set now reduces nearby enemies' weapon spell damage by 286 for 5 seconds rather than nearby enemies' weapon damage by 430. Okay, so it all around just it seems better overall. Immortal Warrior, fix an issue where the major protection from this could stack with other sources. Fix numerous visual errors. Okay, Infallible Mage, reduce the damage bonus of heavy attacks. Alright, Lunar Bastion. This set now creates an area for 8 seconds down from 10 seconds. Increase the cooldown to 20 seconds up from 10. This set now grants damage shields that absorb almost 2400 every 2 seconds but continues to stack every tick rather than applying a damage shield that absorbs 2400 every 2 seconds but constantly refreshes. Okay. Cool. Uh, fix numerical visual effects. Hey, they're just easy calculations. A lot easier. Mantle Sororia. Uh, this set in the perfected versions I now grant 52 uh, spell damage per tick up from 30. Reduce the maximum stacks 10 down to 20. Moon Dancer. This set now grants 474 spell damage or magic recovery up from 440. Cool. Reduce the duration of the bonus 20 seconds to 30 seconds. All right. Poison a serpent. Increase the damage of the set to 4,000 up from 3,000. Increase the cooldown to 2 seconds up from 1. Remove the proc chance. Now when you do damage with a ladder heavy attack against an enemy, an enemy who has poison damage ability on them, you're dealing additional 4,000 poison damage to them. This is for effect concurrency. That's strong. That's pretty strong. We'll see how this is in PvP. A roar of Akatosh. Uh, this set now deals 3,000 damage instantly and 11,000 over 10 seconds rather than 17 initially, 12,000 over 10 seconds. The armor shred from the set is now based on the amount of damage done for the initial hit rather than the flat 3,000. Dam uh, fix an issue where the damage over time if it could stack from multiple wear. Okay. Uh, Roaring Opportunist. This set in the perfected version only applies 6 root mirrors down from 12. Fix an issue where this is not based on the wares of the set in case, some cases. Okay. A tooth of Locust Seed. I don't know what this is. Reduce the duration of the set in perfected version to 10 seconds. Alright. Twice Fang Serpent. Reduce penetration. Granted stack from this to 544 down from 860. Increase the number of stacks. Okay. Uh, increase the cooldown generating. Okay, that's bad. Increase the duration. Okay, so it just kind of checks and balances. It's just better overall. Uh, Twilight Remedy. This set now heals for uh, 28,000 or 15 seconds rather than 22,000 over 10 seconds. This set longer is a cooldown. Fix an issue where the heal from this could critically heal. Fix an issue with minor force. We said this was not a minor buff. Okay, it's really good. Twilight Remedy is really good buff. And there's Might. Um, each stack of Giant's Endurance now grants 74 weapon damage rather than 69 stamina recovery. The cooldown generating stacks has been reduced to 0.5 seconds down from 1 seconds. Okay. Vestments of or Allure Me. I reduced, I don't know what this set is. Reduce the duration of the Major Courage on this set to 10 seconds down from 30. I don't know what Major Courage does. Adjusted the max target 6 tick blobs. Okay, just... Okay, Vicious Serpent. This set now probably mentioned in the tool dip. Alright, cool. Alright. Whew, guys. We're getting there. Player versus player source sets. Alright, I'm going to sit up for this one. We're going to see because, because all these sets need some love. They all need some fucking love. How are we doing on time? Alright. It's going to be a long ass video. Affliction. 
This set no longer has a proc chance. Now, when you do damage, you do an extra 2,000 disease damage to the target. This damage immediately applies the disease status effect, applying Meyer Defile to the target for 4 seconds. Oof. Oh, God. The healing's already bad enough. Alicia in order. This set now grants 2% of your total physical and spell resistance. Health cover up to 1%. Really good buff. Um, Almaxi is Mercy. This set now heals for 4,000 health over 3 seconds to group members in area rather than uh, 2,800. Immediately, this set has a 3 second cooldown but no longer has a proc chance. Now we need to take damage. You and group members within 7 meters heal for 4,000 over 3 seconds. This effect can occur every 3 seconds. Okay. Bastion of the Heartland. Reduce the damage reduction bonus to 3% down from 5% of the 3 pieces. Reduce the damage reduction bonus to 10% down from 20% versus um, AoE. How is that too strong? <laughs> Battalion Defender. Increase the heal of this set. Okay. Black Rose. Increase the bonus to the Constitution Pass while wearing 60. Okay. This might be a pretty good buff. Increase the weapon's full damage to the set. Okay. Uh, this might be pretty good. Check it out. Uh, Coward's Gear. This set now appears in your character sheet when it's active rather than appearing permanent. It fixed an issue where it said would override all sources of major expedition while wearing rather than only overriding while sprinting. It fixed an issue where this set could be activated while mounted. Uh, whatever. Crest of Cereal. Reduce the healing by pretty much nothing. Whatever. Deadly Strike, fix an issue where this set did not apply to the tooltip of uh, AoEs. Desert Rose, increase the increase the proc chance this set from 25. Wow, okay, good. Reduce the Okay, so they compensated for a little bit. Fuck. Okay. Still gonna feel kind of the same, though. I feel like. Okay, uh, Kind's Kiss, this set now restores 1300 health and stamina every 5 seconds rather than having a 15% chance to proc it with a 1 second cooldown. Now when you deal direct damage every 12 meters or further from your target, you restore 1300 health and stamina. This effect can occur every 5 seconds. It's a pretty interesting change. Uh, Marota Service. Uh, this set now grants 3500 armor to group members for 20 seconds rather than 3000 to only 2 alleys per minute. Phoenix. Increase the duration of the shield up to 10 seconds from 6. Fix an issue where the damage had a higher chance to apply it burning than intended. Eh, no one cares about Phoenix. Powerful Assault. The set now grants 307 weapons full damage to group members within 10 meter radius for 10 seconds. Rather than granting 164 weapons full damage to allies under 50. Okay, whatever. Ravager. The set now grants uh, 146 to protect. 25. Okay. Sensory. This set now grants 266 weapon on 5 piece up from. Okay, doubled it. Soldier of Anguish. Uh, this set no longer is a proc chance now. Your melee Fly attacks place a ring on the ground that explodes after 1.3 seconds, applying uh, almost a 5k heal absorption to enemies and hit for 4 seconds. This effect can occur every 6 seconds. Increase the heal absorption. Uh, spell strategies reduce the spell damage. Grand by a set to 460, 500. Eh, I don't know about that one. Stiffest hero, reduce the cooldown of the set to 18 seconds down from 20. The Archmage, increase magic regeneration grand by a set. To 506, up from 369, it's a pretty good buff. The Juggernaut, increase the healing of the set to 20,000, up from 18,000. This set now grants 20,000 20, armor for 15 seconds after activating. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a lot. The Morax Tong, uh, this set now causes targets to take bonus disease and poison damage rather than only poison damage. Oof. A lot of dot poison defiler builds coming. The Thews of Harbinger. This set now deals its damage on based on 7% of your max health up from 6. Vanguard's Challenge. This set now decreases the damage done by your targets versus your allies by 35%. Down from 50%. It also increases the damage done by your target versus you by 35% rather than 150. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, so we got Vice Cannon. Really old set here. This set now activates when you deal critical damage while behind an enemy rather than dealing critical damage from stealth. This set now deals 9,000 damage over 10 seconds to a target's affected rather than 13,000 over 15 seconds. Fix an issue where the final ticket damage did not heal you. Fix an issue had a higher chance of rocket. Okay. So you gotta be behind them. Vicious Death. Let's see what they did. 
The set now grants an additional, okay, for your five piece. Increase, you know, lost spell payment for your five piece. Increase the damage done on kill. Oh, God, guys. The high burst bombing builds. We got, yeah, the one shot builds, the bombing builds, the annoying anti healing builds coming out. Oh, God. This is going to be an interesting meta. Uh, word of Cyrodiil, fix an issue where the major defile from this set counted as two negative effects rather than just one. Warrior's Fear reduced the weapon damage per stack. Uh, Repose, this set now applies minor innervation enemies who critically strike you rather than minor maim. That sucks. Now this set also grants 660 critical resist for 5 piece. Alright. Let's get to my favorite one. This is the best for last, so just give me a second to collect myself. I've never read this much. This is probably the most I've ever read in like two years combined, so... All right, we'll get through it. Blood spawn. Increase the armor rating granted from this proc set. Okay, that's much better. Increase the ultimate on proc to 13 up from 8. The ultimate granted now scales with level and quality. Okay, that's all good. Buff the blood spawn. Engine guardian. Fix an issue where the heal from this set could critically strike. That's that's crazy. I didn't know it did that. Grothgar. Uh, this set not only activates if you're within 8 meters of an enemy. Good! Good! Or it can deal damage in the first place. That's awesome. Um, so you don't really have to run Elf Bane. Because like, you run Elf Bane, sometimes you'd be you know, 28 meters away and it proc and you'd be like, fuck, I gotta make my move now, I gotta get in there. So this is good. Fix an issue where the set's damage was considering direct damage rather than damage over time. I mentioned this fucking so many times. That Grothgar was doing direct damage and not scaling off Thaumaturge. A lot of people told me I was retarded. Well, here you go. So, now you stack damage in Thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. So, uh, yeah, you mag DK mains are good to allocate your points differently. Fix an issue with the set. Had a higher chance of applying burning than intended. Okay. Um, I mean, if you charge, really doesn't matter anyway, does it? Uh, Lambrus, this set is now labeled as uh, damage over time rather than direct damage. Okay, Need, needed it. Uh, Crags, uh, this set is now melee damage rather than damage over time. Molai Kina, I uh, fixed numerous issues where the check for simultaneous light attacks could fail in situations where it didn't actually didn't. Uh, pirate skeleton fixed an issue with the set could proc when you had a damage shield active and were hit by an area effect attack. Uh, okay, Valken Scoria fixed an issue where this set had a lower proc chance than listed and its cooldown could extend an extra. One. Okay, yeah, because I I'd run Scoria, dude. I would never get this shit to proc. I'd be in a whole duel for like two minutes. This shit would never proc. So, um, Zons fixed an issue where the damage of the set could be dodged. I really wish it could be dodged. Ugh, I hate it. Ability altering weapons. We're almost done. Concentrated force. This set requires two four shot casts to activate down from three. Reduce the duration of the window between each cast to two seconds. Okay. Mythic items. I don't see Malachanth man. Snow Treaders. Update the tooltip for this set to better reflect when you have the snare no immobilization immunity, which is only while in combat. Fix a rare issue where in quickly entering and leaving a rendering combat, the snare immunity. Cost could fail. Thoracic Stranglers reduce the spell damage per stack, reduce the penalties. Uh, the stack the set now lasts 30 seconds. Okay, and there is second permanent. This is also grants weapon damage. Whew. Okay. We fucking did it. So, long story short, they're baselining everything, they're minimizing calculations that the engine has to use. They're emphasizing crit. I think they're so they're nerfing impin. They're emphasizing more crit. I think they're indirectly working against the Malakanth ban. Instead of nerfing the Malakanth ban directly, um, this meta it's just more driven for burst and crit values and such. So that alone, even though Malakanth ban didn't get a nerf, it, it kind of indirectly did because everything else is just much more viable than everyone's rolling the Malakanth ban. So. 
Um, overall, I like the changes. I really do. I'm really worried about Calorians with the Malakanth ban, to be honest. Um, Torog's Pact might be an iffy one, and then the new sets are kind of kind of out of control as well. So uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out on the PTS. So thank you guys for watching me read this shit for damn near, I don't know, 40, 30 minutes. I don't know. But again, thank you for watching. This has been Horcrux. Much love. I'll be streaming some Hyperscape later on today, tomorrow, and then going on vacation. So I won't have too much content for you guys until I come back next Saturday. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and you guys have a great day. Deuces.